I would say just to continue to find ways to be um, helpful to the team and whether that be um, attacking downhill and, and creating for other people or getting to the free throw line um, and then defensively just continuing to um, grow, you know, just trying to uh, play through what I've got going on and, and what goes on with my ankle and then we'll just see from there. Yeah, obviously I'm proud of Sarah um, for, for stepping into that role. It's not easy to, to be there and speak up and know that, you know, majority of the time there's going to be people who agree with you and a, a lot of people who don't. Um, but I appreciate the fact that she's willing to step up there and really share her side of the story, be able to be a voice for some people who don't necessarily have that platform to do that. Um, and she's someone who's outspoken. Uh, she's a great person. She's had her own experiences and fought through them and she's resilient. So um, I think it'll be great that she's up there and, and really making a difference. I think it was really more just to show a crowd in the lane and um, be able to make her feel like there was more than one person in front of her so that she couldn't see easy open baskets. And I think it's the same thing with Kennedy and Laney, um, making sure that they don't feel that there's a, a lot of space for them to work and they see a lot of different bodies coming at them. So it'll be a matter of playing inside out, protecting the paint, but also protecting the three-point line, knowing that they have a couple of really good uh, spot-up shooters. Um, and that'll kind of be part of our game plan tonight. Well, that was the third game of the season, so I'm hoping we should have improved by then. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think, obviously, we've stayed pretty true to our um, defensive identity in terms of what we want to do on ball screens and, and how we want to guard people. Um, but I think we've gotten better at it, and that's just been a matter of having the opportunity to really do it in games and not a ton of practice time, obviously. But um, being able to get better at, you know, being cl up closer to the screens and, and our bigs helping with their drops, it's a little bit different than what we were all used to. So I think we've really grown in a number of different ways defensively and in terms of knowing where our help side is coming from as well. So that'll be a lot better tonight, I believe. I think this organization is really special in that way and that they really do encourage us to speak up and, and talk about issues that are obviously really prevalent in our lives and, and the lives of people that we love. Um, and that you don't always get. So we're really fortunate that we have games like the Unity game where we can create these conversations that maybe aren't typically at the dinner table with everybody, but we bring awareness to them and we allow people to really have a space where they can discuss um, their feelings on it. And I think that's important, especially with what's going on in the world today um, and just being able to have that open space and have that safe space to know that it's okay to speak about issues that aren't necessarily um, on the forefront of people's minds constantly.